So I forgot to do my intro before I changed clothes and whatnot. So today we're going to be trying out the new products from Revlon. I am super excited to try their new foundation and all of their other face products. So if you guys are interested in seeing what products I used and how they apply and my thoughts, then just keep watching. So we're going to start off with the color corrector pens. Okay, so I'm going to take the green pen for correcting redness. It's got like a paintbrush tip. You turn until the product comes up. There we go. Ooh, that is green. All right, I think I have way too much. And I'm going to use the 4-in-1 blending sponge that Revlon recently came out with. So let's see if this will blend out. All right, so I feel like it ends up looking a little bit gray, but we'll see. All right, let's go in with the peach under the eyes. I'll click slower this time because I got too much green. Okay, I can see it there. Come on. Mine defective, it's not coming out anymore. There we go. Okay, maybe a little. I wish they'd come out with a yellow one for sunken areas. Still quite blue here. Okay, so maybe it worked a little bit. All right, next are the new foundations from Revlon, the Photo Ready Insta Filter Foundation. And I have 200, 330, and 400. Let's try the lightest one because my summer tan is pretty much gone. All right, let's see, how does this work? Directions, shake well before use twist base to dispense foundation. Ooh, no way. You shake it? And it just got all over my room. Okay, so shake with cap on. Usually you can shake containers with the lid off and it doesn't come pouring out. So Revlon, not cool. Okay, let me pull my hair back. No, it doesn't match, but okay. So I shook it and you can see that the foundation just comes pouring out of the hole without ever twisting the bottom. So be warned, if you shake this with the lid off, it makes a royal mess. So already not a big fan of that. Okay, so the lid is off and it says to twist base to dispense. I'm kind of scared. I feel like I need a towel underneath me to try this. I'm twisting. Twist base to dispense. Am I missing something? There we go, we finally have some coming out. I think I'm just gonna put it on my face and see what happens. I'm going to get enough this time that I can just dot it around and spread it. Okay, 
This looks like it's a good color match for me. We'll see once I actually have it on. On this side, I've kind of brushed the product on then tried to pat it in, but I don't feel like that was very successful with this particular applicator because you keep getting this little hole mark on your face. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to dispense this onto my face and try blending it in with the 4-in-1 blending sponge. That looks so much better than this side. This side you can still kind of see, you can still see brush marks a little bit. You can kind of see the spots where the indentation touched the face. So I'm gonna add just a little bit more here, here. I do like this sponge though, it's perfect for getting in all the little nooks and crannies here. Okay, so the finish, I would say it's like a natural skin finish. I do feel like it's clinging to dry patch right here and around my mouth, but it didn't quite cover the acne I have down here or my bag, so I'm going to jump off camera, conceal, powder, bronze, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have powdered my face. I applied a little of the Revlon Bronze Beauty Blush as bronzer. I absolutely love this. I've gone through two already and I've already hit pan on this one. And I didn't have a Revlon blush handy, so I used the Maybelline Fit Me Blush in 10. It's just a very, very natural looking blush. I didn't want to take away from any of the Revlon products that we're trying today. So let's jump in and try brows. They came out with a Color Stay Brow Kit, which has a wax and a powder, and also a brow mousse. It looks like a mousse comes out of like a mascara wand type thing. So let's try this first, and then we'll jump in with the brow mousse. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure how this works. So I am going to brush my brows up first with the little brush that comes in the kit. And then I'm going to get some wax. Kind of help them stay in place. Maybe that's what the brush was for. I'm used to using brow pencils, so I am a little bit of a wax and brow pencil amateur. Does the box tell you how to, or the Packaging, use angled brush to apply pomade to brows in short strokes. Using other side of angled brush to apply powder in short strokes. Br blend brows with blending brush. Okay, so we do the wax first. Then with the other side, we do the powder. Let's brush it through again. Okay, not bad. It's pretty natural looking. Okay, not horrible. Let's try this brow mousse, see if it will stay in place. Brow mousse. Tinted mousse gives medium to thick brows a clump-free natural look that wears up to 24 hours. Gently twist base of pen to propel formula into both sides of the brush. Which way? 
You see the little moose? Okay. I'm gonna use my Revlon and Isaac Mizrahi mirror, which is cute, but I wish that it stayed put. <laughs> I actually don't mind that. I'd heard strange things about this one, but that's not bad. These definitely help you get like a natural brow look as opposed to the drawn on look, which I can appreciate. Okay, next we have four shadow quads that I'm going to try. I'm not trying all of them. I think I'll try Siren in conjunction with Addictive. They look like these. Let's check them out. Okay, I'm just gonna take a shadow brush and go into this lightest cream one all over my lids. bit dusty. They're very dry. <laughs> I'm going to switch to a blending brush. This is the Wet n Wild brush. These are very dusty. Can you see from the packaging how dusty these are? I'm going to go into this kind of shimmery gray color here and make this my transition color. Then going in with a smaller brush, I think I'm going to take this warm shade here and focus that on the outer corner. You guys can see the amount of times I've had to go back in with the color to build it up. So it is not super, super intense, but it is workable. And then I don't really have a color that I want to use for the lid in those two palettes. So I think I'm going to go into Passionate, which is this bluish toned one right here. And I'm going to take this metallic blue and put that on my lids. Is it supposed to rain today? I just painted outside and I hope it's not going to rain. I like the shimmery blue color. I'm gonna go back in with more of that brown now and see if I can just kind of smoke out the outside a little bit more. Well, last night I'm just gonna take a pencil brush and the brown and keep it simple. All right, these just take way too long for me. I'm not gonna use them. I'm sorry, Revlon. I like a lot of your products, but these shadow quads are just too dry. I'm not getting the color payoff that I want with a application or two where I have to go in and in and in. So for me, these shadows are a pass. They also launched some roller wheels, just like the MAC one. These are called the Exactify Tips, and I'm going to try, uh, see, it looks like I have Mulberry right here, which is kind of like a wine color. Why not? We've got blue, we've got brown, we've got gray. Now we have mulberry. 
can see what it looks like, just like a pizza cutter. This one doesn't look like it has any color on it though. It does, okay. Very watery. Can you see? This one's too watery. Won't use it. Maybe I needed to shake it up first. Probably, right? Shake well. My fault. Alright, let's try that again. Now that it's well shaken. Oh, much better. Look at that. Much better. Okay, so that's the look that I got with the roller wheel. Once shaken, definitely a better color than what I was getting originally, so that was my fault. So I'm gonna hop off, finish my face, and I'll be right back. So I went ahead and applied a little roller lash mascara to my lashes, and I think that the look that I came up with was nice, but I'm not blown away by the shadows. Revlon also came out with a Kiss Plumping Lip Cream, and I'm gonna go with this mauve shade to kinda go with the brown grays. Definitely feels like a lip gloss. This is shade number 525, by the way. Definitely has peppermint in it. You can kind of feel the tingling right away. I do like this. I would probably use this over a lipstick or liquid lipstick or at least a lip liner because it is not completely opaque. But it's very comfortable, has a nice taste to it, which I enjoy mint fragrance lip product. Let's do the rundown of my first impressions of these Revlon products. The foundation with the giant squeezy tube. I like the foundation formula, but I don't really care for this particular application and design. Um, the sponge, it has a hole in the middle, so it's not really practical for bouncing onto your face because then you get little circle marks on your face. I don't know. So I'm gonna continue to try this, but I probably will not be using this sponge applicator. The four-in-one blending tool though, I do like this. This gets into all the little nooks and crannies and crevices. I do like this. That is definitely a plus for me. I didn't show you guys using the setting mist on camera, but this smells like sun into me. It smells like a kind of stale lemon scent and I just don't care for it. The color correcting pens, I don't really think they did that much. They are intensely pigmented, but once you blend them out, they almost blend out to nothing. And I feel like this made the concealer harder to apply under my eyes. Like it was tacky and kind of like pooling and tugging and I didn't care for that. The brow mousse and the brow kit, these were good. They gave me like this nice natural brow effect which is a nice change from the severe brows that I normally do so that was nice. The shadow quads, you guys already know my opinion of these. They're very dry, very powdery, not super pigmented. There are other drugstore shadows that I like better um, around the same price point so for me these are a pass. The Exactify liners, they're very nice. Remember to shake them. Really do make it easy to get a winged line, so I like these. I'll continue to use them. And finally, the Kiss Plumping Lip Creams. These are really nice. They remind me a lot of the Buxom lip polishes, but less sticky. I don't know how long they will last, but my first impression is that I do like these. They're nice and glossy and minty and refreshing. So if you guys enjoyed this kind of first impressions, New from Revlon video, if you did, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.